Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw has received her sentence after being convicted of fraud. According to NBC News, on January 6th, a federal court judge in Manhattan sentenced Jen to six and a half years in prison. She will be on supervised release for five years after serving her sentence. The 49-year-old and her former assistant, Stuart Smith, were arrested in March 2021 on wire and money laundering charges in connection with a nationwide telemarketing scheme. Though Stewart originally claimed innocence, he changed his plea to guilty in November 2021 and is expected to be sentenced in March. Jen did the same on July 11th, just a week before her case was set to go to trial. Andy Cohen spoke about her guilty plea moments after it happened on his Sirius XM series, Radio Andy. In other news, Jen Shaw, it, it looks like she's pleading guilty. So odd. <sighs> I, I just Send don't, I don't know how to feel about this. To me, we've invested so much time in this person. We all feel like we know them. And that's, you know, that's another thing. It's like, I, I think, you know, you become, it's like they're your friend or they're in your family or they're in your circle or something. And then it becomes a little more complicated. Bravo has yet to announce whether Jen's sentencing will affect her role on Real Housewives going forward. She's been a part of the show since its premiere in 2020. Jen skipped the show's season three reunion taping back in November 2022 and explained in a December 16th Instagram post, I was clear with Bravo that out of respect for the courts and a standing judicial order, I would not be in a position to discuss anything related to my legal case or sentencing. Jen said per legal advice, she would not be involved in the reunion. Around that time, her Salt Lake City co-star Meredith Mark said Jen wasn't given the proper chance to defend herself amid her legal drama. She told E! News, I think that it's been a very trying time because to go through this and feel like you don't have a voice on top of everything else that she's facing, it's overwhelming. She just tries to focus on the day-to-day -day as best she can.